This is actually the second restaurant we've been in. I was going to say, we found somewhere and then we changed our minds. Yeah. The first restaurant just down that way fleeced or tried to fleece us. First up, and this is going to be a bit strange for us, but Merry Christmas for tomorrow? Happy Christmas yeah. for tomorrow. Merry Christmas Eve. Yeah, you're going to be watching this on Christmas Eve, or this will come out on Christmas Eve, and, but for us, it's still a few weeks off, because we tend to record two to three weeks ahead of things, ahead of when we release. Mm -hmm. Seems weird saying it today. Yeah. But there we go. So. Alison again has come up trumps because you you kind of on fire a little bit with <laughs> locations. This is where we parked last night and it was lovely and quiet actually. And we're right by a really lovely little river. We weren't the only ones though. We, we had some, I think they're Dutch looking at a number plate friends overnight. But today we're heading to a place called Roses. Roses. Rosses. 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 So, one of the main reasons we've come to Roses is, well, to see this blooming great castle? Fortification. Fortification. And first up, we've got to say a big thank you to Dan and Steve over at the channel uh, Come, come along, along Dear. Dear. It was you guys that gave us the idea to come here. It's been on the list ever since we saw your video. <laughs> and for those that are interested, we'll put a link to their channel down in the description. But we've already been in once, paid the four euros per person to get in there, to be told we're allowed to take the dogs. So we've come back and got the boys. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take the boys' in. Yeah. And for the first time ever, the boys get to... Well, see fun stuff. Come and see a castle with us. Well, this castle is somewhat large. It's a citadel. This citadel really. is somewhat large. It was What's walls. the difference between a citadel and a castle, though? Well, it's kind of... The village was inside the walls. Yeah? You know, when we've been to villages on the hill where they've still got walls around them. Yeah. These are the walls and what's left of the so village. So Citadel, in everything's inside the walls. Yeah. Castle, posh people inside the walls, paupers outside. Heathens outside, yeah. Yes, so yeah. we'd have been outside. So there's Greek, Roman and medieval sections in here. And we actually have a little guide this time. So uh, perhaps we should look to see where we're going and work out what's what. Stop and read first. Makes a change. Then you can be a mind of information for everybody. Mine. So we've read and become a mine or mind of information. <laughs> and um, we've actually come up with the cunning plan of let's just start at one side and work our way round. Yeah. Which way are we going to go? Well, you were after the bridge, so we'll go yeah, over there. I quite fancy seeing what's over that side. That's the Greek. So we came in there. And now we're going to kind of just go zoom. But the other thing you may well have noticed is uh, we're wandering around here with the, the new matching jackets. And jackets for much coldness. Yes, and, and the boys have got new semi-matching jackets. And that's because we're now, well, we're now very much in northern Spain. It is getting colder. Especially at night. Oh, at night. <laughs> Temperatures are really dropping. So we've decided it's time to get some proper warm jackets as we head back to the UK for Christmas. Although saying that, I'm actually starting to get over half. I am now that the sun's come out. Yeah. Because when we came out, the sun was behind the clouds, wasn't it? And mm. it was, what, 10 degrees? Yeah. Well, I've been getting very confused. And to be honest with you, you've been getting a little bit confused as well with all of this. I got confused by that bit because I couldn't work out why in the third century they had Greek and Romans in the same place, but they didn't. 
the Greeks were there third century BC or BCE and the Romans were there third century AD. Gotcha. But because you've got walls underneath walls. Yeah. So they're trying to show <clears throat> you different bits in the same place, but you I have to think. I can't see any here, but out there somewhere we saw Back a um, bit. walls that were on top of other walls. bits in there boys. Turn around. Zebs. He says, I want to be on camera. I want to be on camera. I want to be on camera. Apparently darling they have a what well, looks like a very sizable Sunday market here as well. They do indeed. Oh, that looks like scarves. We might need to pop over there afterwards. You want another scarf? Well, I only packed one. Did you only pack one? I only packed one. Oh! I was a good girl. When you were doing your packing, by, by the way, I'm talking about when we packed and moved from the house to the motorhome, <laughs> you seem to reduce at least your 23,000 scarves down to two or three, I thought. I gave a lot of my scarves to Celine last time she came. So I preempted it so that I didn't have to just give them away to mm. all and sundry. And then gave Celine, them Celine, by to the way, is one of Alison's friends, in case you're wondering. She gave a few to her. Oh, OK. Yeah. Well, best go and fill up on scarves. Do you know the other thing I like about this? What's that? And it's something we noticed from the outside, wasn't it? When they've repaired, and give you a rough idea what I'm talking about, when they've repaired parts of wall, they've used very modern yeah. techniques. Yeah. And the beauty of that is, you unlike see the dates which thing which. problem we had earlier with the different civilizations, you can really easily see what's original and what's been reconstructed. And I like that. Yeah. And it's the first time I've ever seen that. Yeah. Because quite often we'll go to a place and we'll say, is that original? Has it been reconstructed? We're unsure. Because they're trying to do it to make it look as authentic as possible. Yeah. Whereas doing it the part opposite here makes it bleeding obvious. Oh, that is snow on the top there, far... isn't it? Sorry. <laughs> we, uh, yeah. we, like I said, we've come right to the very north of Spain. We're on the verge of the Pyrenees now. <laughs> and there they are. We saw some mountains and wondered if it was snow. And now I don't know if that's going to come out all this distance away. But all of these blooming great mountains across the back here, well, they're covered in snow. Well done. Up is easier than down, Bless isn't him. it, Tiger? Poor old Sebi. He's uh, not as young as he used to be, like most of us. <laughs> and, or um, any of us. Yeah, he really struggles quite a bit, particularly with stairs now, doesn't he? Downstairs, yeah. Down, he climbs upstairs with a struggle. Downstairs, he's more of a uh, bundle, fall, crash. Yeah, he, he t his back end tends to crab, doesn't yeah. it? But he likes to stay close to the wall yeah, or him. our legs, which makes sense. Yeah. So, poor old boy. Hey, Say hi. poor old boy. Well, this is incredible, really, isn't it? I mean, yeah. Even from here, look how much further out it goes. Yeah. With the second lots of walls, this was classed as the original moat. I thought they said it was five metres. Four. Four metres? 
I don't know about you, is but that, that to me... Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe that was depth. I, I just find it amazing. We're, still, we're getting really quite warm now. I think we're going to have to, when we finish here, get rid of the jackets, but... Maybe. It's getting nice and warm, and then you've got... I mean, the start snow of the, the, the Pyrenees over there with snow on top. Oh, by the way, talking about the Pyrenees and stuff, next year, we're still... I want to come back to we'll Spain. To I want to do northern Spain. Toss a coin. Yeah. I want to Alison's, do northern, northern Spain. I yeah. just don't want to freeze my butt off doing it. Yeah, I was going to say, Alison's got a problem with that, which is the cold. And I do understand it's... You know, we're going to be here, what, end of January, probably. Mm -hmm. Back down this neck of the woods. In northern Spain. Could be very cold. Yeah. Whereas you want us to do Turkey. Yeah. Want us to head across Europe as quickly as possible and go to Turkey. Yeah. Toss a coin. I think we should do that when it's time. That's a bit nice, isn't it? Hmm. That's the church, you say? That is St Mary's Church of the 11th century Romanesque Benedictine monastery built on top of a pre-Romanesque one. Um, restored in the 60s, badly damaged in 1795 wow. in a war. It's really cool, I like that. I like this chunk that's clearly fallen from somewhere. Yeah. That's got half an arch on it. There seems to be a lot of that, doesn't there? Just fallen brickwork mm. that they've left. But again, yeah. I don't dislike that. I like the fact it gives it a bit of authenticity. Yeah, and the bits around the back where there was um, Greek and Roman columns. Mm. They've obviously dug up with the architecture and don't really know what to do with them, so they've just kind of put them all in a long line yeah. beside something else. Well, hello. Oh, don't worry. He's a big old softy. Seems to be commonplace for us well, at the moment. Hello. Is. Oh, <laughs> we Come found here. another cat. Bless him. What's up, another little man? Another very talkative cat. Not What's so keen up, on the, the boys. What's up? By the way, our dogs Give have me. never hurt a cat. Bar, Sebastian, both from Epsi, adore cats. Oh, he's a good boy. Because they live with them. He's a good boy. But obviously, he's not used to them, so he's a little wary. Hi. So, they seem to have got the official tour guide then. Eh? Is that because I gave you a treat? I've made the payment, I now get the official cat tour. Hey, Do I get the official cat tour, do I? Because I've paid you with treats. I don't know if we can even get in here. Uh -uh. This door seems open. I don't know how far that will actually go. Oh, no, there's stairs. Well, that will be up the Sebastian tower. won't be able to get up there, so... Give me Bart and you go up there. I'll go up first and you go up afterwards, yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's uh, go see. <laughs> Ooh. Cat's coming. And then comes through to a kind of a lookout point. Ooh. We might be out getting can't tell if that gate's open or shut. But it's obviously inside the, uh, the church or whatever these outer buildings were. Cool, let's uh, go down to Alice and have a look. Well, you'll be pleased to know. Doors open. Gates open. We can actually go in. I didn't realise from the other side there's not much of a roof left, is there? Oh, none. Oh, sorry, Seb. A couple of weeks ago, wasn't it, we saw a weird sign somewhere that made us chuckle. Can't remember where that was. I can't. But there's another one here today that they actually feel the need to tell people 
that it's inappropriate to relieve oneself against a historic building. <laughs> Oh my word, we, um, we thought we'd seen some of these earlier. Hopefully you guys can see them, but down here, there's all these bright green parakeets. Wow. I didn't realise they were, or had invaded this far north. And the reason I say invaded, by the way, they're not natural to Spain. Apparently it's causing quite a problem for the local wildlife. Was it quite Killed a number off of a lot of the sparrows? Yeah, a lot of the sparrow species here have uh, gone extinct because of them. So nice to see, but not great for the environment. Well, we do seem to have uh, made our way back round to the the main front entrance. Yeah. So I think what we're going to need to do now is take the boys back to the motorhome, which is only parked across the road from here, actually when we have a quick look around the uh, museum part. No. So sorry boys, back to the motorhome for now for you. So this museum's a load of balls to be fair. <laughs> Definitely worth the four euros entry, four euros each. Yeah. I think what we're going to do now is probably go and have a wander along the seafront, go and yeah. see what else this town, village of roses has got to offer. Yeah. All right, we're down at the uh, seafront again. There's the sea. It's actually turned out to be a really lovely day, but mm. I think. We're kind of the same thing again in that quandary about trying to find somewhere to eat. Yeah. Tummy's rumbly. Yeah. I don't know whether we're going to hit one of the local beach restaurants around here or just probably end up doing what we always do to go to a cakey bakey shop and buy some naughtinesses or. Go home and have cereal. Yeah, something like that. We found somewhere to eat. This is actually the second restaurant we've been in. Say, we found somewhere and then we changed our minds. Yeah. The first restaurant just down that way fleeced or tried to fleece us. So the outside they put a, a menu idea for $13.95. Yep. With some amazing looking dishes on there. Then you get in and the menu idea actually starts at 18 with substantially worse meals. 18 Obviously or 22. The, the big advert outside is just to get you to come in, but that's never available. No. So, yeah, we, not nicely, but we just stood up and walked back out and we'll so come back down thanks to Thanks very this much, one, but no thank you. Which is really nice because we are, excuse the gentleman, but right down by the beach. <laughs> this is advertised at 16 euros and is actually 16 euros and looks it really says nice. So on the bit she passed us. Yeah. We're going to get on order some food and I'm quite looking forward to this because I'm having mussels, I haven't had them for ages. And sausage. Mm, man, yeah. And sausage. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I'm not quite sure where I put all that. Wow. <laughs> what a meal. So when we, when we were looking at the menu dead ears here, my first thought was a little bit expensive, but <laughs> but it's a coastal town and it was right on the beachfront. Yeah, and... but when the starters turned up, <laughs> I, I had mussels. They were amazing. You had like a pasta bolognese thing. Yeah. And the, but it was the size of it all. Yeah, I could have just had that and been quite content. Then 
I had like this sausage and chips thing and you had chicken again. And it was stunning, 38 euros including drinks, coffee or dessert as usual afterwards. Yeah. I, yeah. What was the name of the restaurant again? Ma event. My event. E, B and an I this time. Yeah. On the, the coast in uh, Roses. <sighs> Lovely, really good. Oh. The but, lady was really nice as yes, well. Yes, but as you can probably tell now, we've kind of hooked around into the... Village. Village, and... To try to walk off the some food. The first thing I've got to say is we've literally Where's come everyone back... Where's gone? Yeah, we've literally come back one road in from the coast, and... Where like is everybody? <laughs> oh! Hello. Hello. Okay. So, first impressions, very modern. A lot of it. Yeah. Not finding a lot of old. We stumbled across, I believe this is what you say, one of the churches in the area. Santa Maria de Roses. Roses. It's lovely. It's nicely done, but yeah. It's been refaced, hasn't it's not, it? It's not the old stuff, like, we normally try and find. I do find the bell tower quite aesthetically pleasing up there though. Yeah. With the metal work and the bells just out and exposed like that. And the clock the other side. Yeah. Yeah, that's quite pleasing. It's been refaced though, hasn't it? Yes, because if you go around here, the side. You can see through this big old window here and another one round the side. I don't know if they're going to see that through there, but yeah, there is original stonework well, in there get a better idea of it this way. Yeah. So I think it's older than it looks. But they've just, well, yeah, modernised, modernised the it. front. Yeah, probably about 100 years or so ago. Possibly, yeah. Because that's definitely much older. Again, I don't know how I feel about that. I just, yeah, I... I love the really old stuff, and I think at least this is something a little bit different at the front now. You know? And they're being um, sympathetic to its history by putting just panes of glass in yeah. rather than putting window frames in. Yeah. Which I think is lovely. It's a difficult one for me. Like I said, if, if that was the church, that was it, full stop. Lovely. But, I don't know. Very modern doors. I never quite know what to think when they modernise things like that. That was a bit... Not disappointing, because that makes it sound like it was horrible, but... Yeah, it's a lovely place. It's a lovely town, but the old part is definitely not... Um, it's not like what we used to. No. The town itself was really nice, but everything had been modernised. Quite it's, a lot. It's, it, it's yeah. a tourist resort. But can I say, here, mm. people have been much nicer. They've been much more friendly. They've been yeah. much more smiley today. Mm. Maybe it's because the wind's dropped and they're not all having to try and stop from getting sand blasted. Yeah. But, yeah. Know, everybody's been more smiley today. Yeah. Right. Do we uh, take a wander down this beach? Yeah. Really gorgeous. We didn't walk along this bit no, going that way, did we? It's a seaside resort type affair, I don't know what you call it, but this is lovely. This is proper Fabulous. picturesque. Mm. I really, I can see the appeal of this, this town now, <laughs> massively. Hello, parakeets. Is it parakeets again? Yeah. Oh, bless them. They're up in the trees there. But I mean, look at the beach. They are very pretty, but. 
Look how Let's calm it is. That, sorry. Look at the beach. Look how calm it is. Yeah. And clearly very gently shelving. Yeah. This is right up our street. But it's very sheltered here, isn't it? This bit, yeah. Because I was so. confused sitting having uh, lunch just a little while ago. Because at uh, Saint Allison, you can see land wherever you look in all directions. But actually, the sea's just there. It's a little you bit go out deceiving. Kind of that way, don't you? We're kind of in a. Don't they call it estuary? Little basin bay. bay. And it is making big bay. <laughs> for very, very, very calm water. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's lovely. It's beautiful at this time of day with the sun coming mm. down. Because it is gone four o'clock for us here. Again, the day is just absolutely flown by in usual Darren and Allison fashion. We yes, indeed. Seem to have done very little with our time in a very long time. Well, let's face it, we spent at least three hours in the Citadel, so. Yeah. If not longer. Oh, we're going to just wander along now and work out where we left our animals and our home. Hi. Hi. We found all the peoples again. Yeah. And we found our home. <laughs> Over there, parked on the side of the road. Do you know what? Really lovely day again. I really food, enjoyed it. Food was incredible. Mm. But we want to go and, well, you particularly want to go and have a little paddle, don't you? I do, yeah. And I, I was actually know. going to turn around and say, no, we need to get on the road because it's getting late and we need to get up to the stop to make sure we get a space. However, I just remembered something. What's that, Tyler? Well, considering where we are and considering our next couple of stops, this will probably be the last time... We see the Mediterranean for a while. Yeah, we see the Mediterranean Sea for... Mm. Wow. Well, at least until January, January, February next year at the earliest. Yeah. So yeah, I think we go back to Percy. Get Make a sure towel. everyone's still okay. Get a towel and go and have a paddle. Yeah. Right. With that said, guys, thank you so much for watching again, and uh, we'll see you next. We'll Sunday. see you next Sunday. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.